Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the In-Depth Tips and Tricks Trader Guide. In this video, I'll be discussing the trader role in particular and tell you all about what you need to know about the unlocks, good locations and much more. So let's begin. The trader is the role that will make you the most money on the short term. Out of all roles, you get the most roll XP and the most short term rewards. All you basically do is pitch your camp, you go out hunting, you bring those animal pots to Cribs and make sure that Cribs has all the supplies he'd need. So let's talk money and the inner world workings first and later in this video I will give you all the tips and handy information you could possibly need. So once you are set up with Cribs by simply reading his letters, starting the business up, you can get to hunting and gathering supplies. Once you have enough materials and production, you can start producing the goods and later down, you'll start selling the goods. Out of all roles, this is okay as for solo friendliness. It's all depending on luck and not having dickheads in your session. So let's open up the menu and go over everything in depth information. First of all, materials. Here you can donate animal pots for crips to turn into goods. Later down in this video, during the tips and tricks pod, I will talk about the best way to fill it up quickly. Below that you have production. In order to produce, you need supplies. And you have two options. You can order supplies or you start a resupply mission. Always do the resupply mission. It's done within 10 minutes and you'll be good for a 50 minutes in total. That's how long it takes for production to stop. There you go, a couple of bonus tips and you didn't even have to wait till the end of the video. Next up, goods. As you can see, I have 67 out of 100 goods. Below you see I only have the small wagon available, which would deliver 25 of those goods at a time. Later down, you can increase the amount of goods with different wagons. As you progress through the skill tree, you'll get the medium wagon, which will deliver 50 crates at a time, and the large wagon, which would deliver all 100 crates at a time if you have them available. The medium and large wagons probably have have monetary bonuses as well but as of now no one has unlocked it yet so I don't really know about that one but I'm gonna assume it does because it would be pretty weird to increase the risk and have the same reward so last up we have selling the goods so you have two options a short delivery and a long delivery the short delivery gives you 6250 for 25 at a time when you have a successful delivery for the long delivery it's about 78 at a time the short delivery is the only one you should really go for. The long delivery is simply not worth your time. It's pretty damn risky and besides that the extra money you get is not really worth it at all. Now before we move over to the tips and tricks for the trader role, let's take a look at the unlocks and point out some of the most interesting ones. So besides the exclusive outfit, you can get a hammer as a melee weapon. You can train your dog to give you a heads up when pesky thieves start raiding your camp, a weapon locker to store weapons, the medium and large delivery wagon to increase profit, some exclusive ponies to unlock for traders only, and a material satchel upgrade. The last one in particular is handy for feathers and whatnot so you can gather more to sell at the butcher. So let's talk about some tips and tricks for the trader role. Tip number one. First of all, location. I've tried a bunch of locations and this one in particular worked out great for me. Why? Because there is a guaranteed 3 star pig farm just a little bit to the east. There is also 3 star bucks spawning constantly and the resupply runs are pretty easy. You'd have to kill a single duck at the creek right next to your camp, bring it over a little over the creek and that is about it. Along the way you'll find plenty of animals to bring home as well, so this is amongst the best spots. The only downside is one of the cell missions will bring you to Valentine which is a hot spot for players and potential dickheads. But tip number two, if you want minimal risk, the moment you spawn in on your cell mission, drive your horse and cart off the cliff on your left and pick up the supplies. Now you won't sell it at the full 6250, but you'll still get a good $50 instead. I wouldn't recommend doing this because, well, you're still missing out on 1250, but if you're feeling you want to skip the cell mission quickly and be way more safe if you have got a bad feeling about the cell then this is the way forward for sure. Tip number three. Always sell full carcasses to cribs and keep a hold of feathers and such to sell to the butcher instead. 
The full carcasses increase the material meter way more than animal parts do, so it's not really worth your time skinning the animals. It's best to go after deer as a trader cause they are the most common and will give you the most bang for your buck. And always go for 3 star animals as well, it does increase drastically selling a 3 star buck or animal to cribs over a 1 star animal. Tip number 4. How long does everything take? Good question. So every good takes about 2-3 to three minutes to craft and it drains the bar for about 5%. Every perfect animal, at least the bigger ones like deer, bring in about 5% of the material bar back. So you'd have to work pretty quickly to keep it up. Location is therefore super important. The supplies you bring home will last you for about 50 minutes to an hour roughly. So you'd have to do a resupply run for every 60 minutes. And remember, do hunt while you're on those resupply runs. You can whistle your horse along and in 10 minutes you can get some good animals while you're at it. Definitely figure out location though. The location is the most important thing for the trader role. It is really super important. Tip number 5. If you want to make sure you'll be left alone, get a camp set up far, far away from civilization. Near Saint Denis is a bad place, so is near Valentine. People can be dickheads and you don't want to deal with dickheads and you don't want to be near dickheads, get as far away from them as possible, like New Austin. Now there, you don't have to deal with anything except for the vultures. Tip number 6. Get a hunting wagon ASAP. While mobility decreases, you'd at least be able to carry more carcasses at once to cribs. The most time is lost going from and to camp with a single animal. So getting that hunting wagon out of the way makes it so you'll be more efficient, you'll be able to carry more 3 star animals and especially when you have a camp set up far away. Tip number 7. Get a dog. It's cool to have and whenever stuff goes down at your camp, he will warn you if you have the perk at least. You definitely don't want to get all your supplies and goods raided and besides that you'd have a damn dog. That's awesome. Another neat upgrade is the stew pot. Crips can cook you up a pretty mean stew and one gives you the best one gives you insane fortification on all cores. So that's definitely worth it as well when you're out there hunting. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you feel you're well informed, please uh, support by leaving a like, subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.